everyone, Tom Hilton here with Real Time Navigator. Uh, it's May 7th, 2021. Today is the 17th anniversary of the launch of Real Time Navigator. We're real proud of that. And uh, so we're using today's date to launch a fairly major upgrade to the site. So that's what this video is about, is to kind of guide you through some of the changes. Um, a lot of it's behind the scenes stuff, uh, just upgrading technologies. Uh, making sure that the, all the images are shown correctly and all the different types of displays on the smart devices. That's a, almost a full-time job in itself, it seems, these days. Uh, let's go into Alabama, pretty popular region. You'll see it's pretty not much different than before. Uh, when you're looking at it on a laptop or a PC, you'll notice that these, these two frames up top are still there. But when you're looking at it on a phone, um, we felt that due to the limitation on the display that that real estate uh, was better used for showing charts. So you won't see those two top frames on your phone. <clears throat> on that same note, on um, here on the upper left corner is your full screen icon. So you can click on that, get rid of the nav bar, bring it back as needed. On the upper right corner is your user panel. You can uh, go through your regions. Of course, you want to follow us. Um, account information. You can go in and uh, revise your email, your boat name, phone number, password. And you can also log out of your user account up there. Um, down here is your action icons. So uh, save map is just like before. Uh, you're saving a chart. Uh, telling the system, hey, I want to take this chart with me offshore, navigate outside of cell range. So when you click Save Map, you can do this for any of the charts on the system. It'll save it to your account on our server. So you got to do it while you're in cell range. And then you can download it into our nav app to navigate on outside of cell range. That's another uh, video coming out shortly. I'll be detailing that in, in better uh, terms here shortly. Manage Maps, again, nothing... Uh, different here um, you can't see the drop down but when i click on uh, n18 3d uh, it'll splay out all your charts i'm gonna go and click altimetry um, so it pulls it up uh, this is where you can remove them it's not a bad idea to go through and review your chart inventory so every so often and then take out charts that are no longer pertinent they just take up memory when you're out offshore and um, Cause problem could cause problems. So uh, anyway, just FYI. So if you click on the image, it'll pull it into the system. Um, and this is altimetry, real big, warm core eddy. There's uh, some nice cyclones all around it. If I can click on this thing, right? Um, I'm going to deviate a little bit. Um, here is a custom waypoint that I created <coughs> that. Um, is relative to that day, May 5th. So I'm going to click on the name. It pulls up uh, your information about it. Um, has your depth on that the, on that specific lat long coordinate <clears throat> on that date. Here's your conditions, your depth, your altimetry height, your chlorophyll concentration, and your current speed and direction. Uh, also shows your sea surface temperatures. Um, over a period of hours. Uh, this is important so that you can understand uh, what the conditions were uh, and document it when you, on spots that you were successful. And then you can uh, look tomorrow to look for conditions that are similar in nature so that uh, you can be more successful. Um, getting back on track here. Uh, Print map is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Export waypoints, we give you three formats. It's comma delimited, which is an Excel spreadsheet. It has name, lat long, coordinates. Uh, KML is Google Earth, so you can import the waypoints into Google Earth or not. I believe some chart plotters also uh, recognize KML if you want to import the waypoints into those chart plotters. And then GPX, is a generic chart plotter format that a lot of different chart plotters recognize. So you can export it out, burn it on a chip, insert the chip in your chart plotter, and you've got your waypoints there. So 
uh, <clears throat> manage waypoints. Um, so again, you can't see the drop down, but uh, you'll have your custom waypoints at the top, and then you have all the different waypoints uh, in the system here that you can pull up. Let's pull up a, uh, here's a drill ship. So this is how you can get the exact coordinate and take it out of here and put it in your chart plotter. Um, I'm going to go back to one of the custom points. So here's test. Um, you can modify it and say, hey, you know what? I missed, I didn't put that in correctly. I'm going to uh, correct the coordinate. So I'm going to change it from 2815 to 2835. Hit save. And then you notice how it's moved the position. Um, just a little bit added uh, functionality for you. Um, let's see, Hilton's waypoints. This is a pretty good one. Um, you'll see that a lot of times you get so many names and everything uh, that groups together obscures the, the image, so you can go in and remove them. You'll notice that my two custom waypoints are still there. Uh, you can get rid of those two if you want. Uh, that's a uh, that's a brand new feature for us. Now, I will say that I'm also uh, going to add one more option here so that uh, you can keep the waypoints as reference on the image and just remove the names because, as you can see, it's mainly the names that get in the way. So that's coming out shortly. Be looking for that. Um, our overlays, uh, right now we have contours, uh, but I'll be adding... Uh, other overlays here in the near future. Uh, view archives, uh, nothing's changed there. Uh, you can go back in time, years, on, on depending on what what image you're looking at, uh, to look back in time. To, why did you catch that fish on that spot on that day back in 2017 or whenever? And then loop image will we'll uh, put the, the image into motion and animate it and so you can see what the tendencies are on that particular image. Um, let's go up here to C-Temps. Um, you'll notice we have one C-Temp button now. Um, so similar to what we did with Chlorophyll where we give you the three different sensors, Modus Aqua, Modus Terra, and Beers. Um, we're separating out our C-Temps into uh, different sensors. Uh, this is our original sea surface temperature sensors that we've been using since the beginning. Um, though that system is starting to falter somewhat. Uh, we lost two satellites uh, in December. Um, so we scrambled and, and uh, brought in five, five to six more new satellites that we're, we're uh, monitoring now. Um, so even though uh, <clears throat> the older system is also included in the new system, this is uh, the green land masses are the new the new shots, the new uh, sensors. This kind of a olive green is the older system. Um, th these shots are also included in here, so there's some duplicate duplicity in there. Uh, but I'm keeping this separate because. Um, of the, the massive amount of archives that are associated with this data feed. If I were to remove it, you would remove access to those archives and uh, there's no reason to do that. Um, so <clears throat> then the one hour is a separate sensor. It's a geostationary satellite that stays up above right there. And so it gives you images every hour on the hour. Um, so we try to give as much uh, redundancy as we can uh, on the system so that if there's, there's uh, something happens with the, the feed, they're not, if NOAA's not um, issuing any shots, uh, we'll have backups. And so now another uh, change, if you just click on uh, this, now, instead of going directly to the image, we'll show you a series of thumbnails. It'll vary from two to three to four, depending on your display. Uh, and it goes down uh, to uh, through yesterday. And 
So uh, <clears throat> you can quickly see your best latest shot. Click on it, pulls it into the system. Um, there's another change over here. Uh, we've moved the uh, adjust temperature bar over to the right and out of the way. Before it was up top, kind of obscuring some of the chart. Um, and this is a biggie too. Uh, we used, uh, whoop. <laughs> we uh, <clears throat> spent a lot of time on this so that when you move the nav tool, it'll give you the exact coordinate down to a tenth of a degree. And um, so you want to, let's say you're interested in going out toward the fads. Um, we'll say the coolest water is somewhere in the 74 degree range. And then this warm mass over here is somewhere in the 77 degree range. So you come over here. I'm going to click it up here to 74. Move this down to 77. Hit adjust. And uh, it'll optimize it uh, as best it can. You can uh, you can really pop out <clears throat> very subtle edges this way. It's it's a you have unlimited access to the data, so you can sit here and fiddle with it till you get it just like you want it. But a lot of good things going on up here around the fad. You can see this counterclockwise rotation of the currents, uh, this warm mass of water coming up and washing into the structures. Um, so it is getting uh, very very close. I mean, they're <laughs> this is looking great. Uh, for this time of year so uh, and then once you uh, you've customized it you get it the way you want it then you come down here it's save map and so there it is saving so I just save that to our chart um, and then uh, I'm gonna kind of shoot into uh, out here just kind of uh, shooting from the hip here I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to make another shot based on a different game plan going further out. And so you can make mul multiple custom shots off the same image based on different game plans. Um, so I kind of overshot it there. Uh, let's just go there. And pop out that edge out there by Thunderhawk in that area. Another very nice edge, you know, may not have noticed that before on the other shot. Um, and this is where um, a weed line will be if there's any sargassum out there. Um, I think that covers most everything. I don't want to make this too long. So I just, uh, again, um, I'll be posting up on social media. And uh, if you have any questions or issues using the service or the nav app, Please do not con uh, hesitate to contact me. I'm on the contact page. Here's my email and my cell phone. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you on the dock.